hi everybody and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing us how to sew this corset pattern so if you haven't seen the video where we drafted this pattern it's going to be linked down in the description box so you can check out my channel and you're going to be seeing it and also guys if you find value in this in this video please share this video and also subscribe to the channel and also leave me your comments and questions in the comment section i would like to read them thank you very much guys so let us get into the tutorial so the next thing is for us to cut out the patterns on the fabric so once you cut them out you're going to be having something like this so also on this other part don't forget to add half inch on top of it okay and also on this other part and uh, you can also add half inch on it or a quarter inch on that then also after doing that you're going to be having um something that looks like this so at this point i ended up cutting out both the main fabric and also the lining i placed the pattern on top of it and then cut it out so the next thing is for us to go ahead and um insert our darts just sew it down on the darts both on the front pieces and also on the back pieces after inserting your dart, you just go ahead and iron down and interfacing on this so i made use of a stronger inter interfacing to iron on this so that's why mine is a bit firm so i ironed it both on the lining and also on the main fabric the next thing is for us to attach our channel for the boning so for my own i'm going to be using my biases to do this because my channel sorry because my boning is quite small so i'm going to be using my bias to do this so you can go ahead and then cut out whatever the fabric you want to use for your own channeling then you can make use of that so i'm just going to be placing that at the center and also under the bust point and now i'm going to be sewing them down on either sides and i'm going to be doing the same thing also on the back so i'm going to be placing it only on where we had the darts the next thing is to place the tape also on the cups so right now on the center of the cup that's where we had the high points on the cups i'm just going to place it like this also downwards so I'm going to be sewing it down on the side. So remember, you're going to be placing it on that um, part first of all. Before you now place it over like this. And then also sew it down on the sides. So the next thing is for you to just go ahead and iron them down after attaching it. And you're going to have something like this. So first of all, you're not going to be including your boning yet. Okay, until you finish attaching the cups to the main bodies so that's what i'm trying to do now so before you attach this the very first point you're supposed to be putting together is this point where you have your bias tape so just going to go ahead and align that point together make sure that they stay together then you go ahead and pin it down so the next thing you're going to be doing is to try and make sure that you pin down the sides okay the part towards your armhole and also the part towards the bust you pin them down so once you've gotten those three points in the right position, then the next thing is just for you to go ahead and see how you can um, pin the other parts down. It's going to be much easier for you that way. So you just go ahead and then try and then pin them down. So once you're done pinning, you turn it over like this and then you try to check whether it all aligns, okay? So once you turn it over, it should align properly like this. So once you've gotten this, then you know that you are, you are on the right track, okay? Then you can go ahead and then proceed. So the next thing is for you to sew it down. And after sewing it down, you should have something that looks like this. So right now, I went ahead and um, picked this point, okay, just using 0 0.4 inches to sew this place down okay or you can use half inch to sew it down just so that the cup will be able to cup very well then you can also do the same thing also to your lining so the next thing is for you to attach your straps so before now you must have sewn your stra your straps and then turn them right side out so at this point now you're going to be attaching our straps directly at that point okay closer to the point that we um sew down the 0 0.4 inch or half inch depending on which of the inches you used 
so right now you're just going to be attaching our straps to that point and then we're just going to pin it down so i'm just going to go ahead and attach the same thing to the other side then we are going to sew it down on the top part then you're also going to sew down the lower parts of the blouse then you turn it on the right, right side out so right now what you're going to be doing is to do the same thing also to the back piece so you're going to attach the straps also to the back put them in between the two um fabrics between the lining and also the main bodies then you're just going to go ahead and then pin it down so the next thing for you to do is just to go ahead and sew on top of it and also below the the top so before you sew below the top go ahead and insert your bonings at this point so that once you sew below the top and then you turn it right side out it will just come out looking all nice so right now once you're, once you're done just go ahead and then turn it out and then iron them down and you should have something like this so i also went ahead and top stitch on the lining so don't forget to do that okay you have to top stitch on the lining part both on the main sorry both on the front part and also on the back pieces just go ahead and then top stitch on it before you sew the down part and then turn it right side out then you can also go ahead and insert your your zipper after doing that so the next thing is for us to place the front uh, piece to, to the back piece and then we'll just go ahead and then use our a one inch seam allowance that we added and then we'll just sew it down here on the side now once you are done with that your top is ready so guys if you enjoyed this video please do well to give me a thumbs up on this video and please share this video and also let me know your thoughts in the comment section let me ask me questions on the comment section and also your suggestions i'll be glad to read them then guys yeah thank you so much for this video if you haven't subscribed like i said earlier please subscribe and then turn on your post notification bell so that you'll not miss out on any of our future uploads so until next time guys bye